UW360 is proudly supported by Pacific Office Automation, Copy, Print, Workflow, and IT. Problem solved. This basket's from the north, uh, is what we were told, and then also like this one has porcupine quills on it, which is pretty cool. So. At the Edmonds Historical Museum, Brianna Brenner is helping bring history to life. I think it's about, you know, being able to connect with the past and the history and people and just bringing it all together into one place. Brianna is working with the museum's director to display an exhibit on loan from the Burke Museum called Salish Bounty about traditional Coast Salish food. Telling a complicated story through photos and captions isn't easy. And sometimes that's really hard because you're like, oh, I love this story, but it has nothing to do with what you're actually trying to tell visitors. So, you know, just trying to find that balance and making sure you, that you're staying on, you know, your theme. I think it's an important concept. And I Brianna is in her final weeks of the UW's two-year museology graduate program, the only one of its kind in the state. The ES is kind of set up as a timeline, but not... The program is nationally acclaimed, but a bit of a secret here at home. Whenever I'm like, oh yeah, I'm a UW Museology student, they're like, is that music? Is that, are you studying Greek muses? No, it has to do with museums. The program has taught her how to help community museums like this one design and display their exhibits. This is the tradition section. She was also part of the team of UW graduate students who helped design the display for the City of Edmonds 125th anniversary last summer, much of which is still on display. We've been helping with the For Brianna, the UW program was a perfect fit. It's one of the top programs in the country, so I was really, you know, like, I want to go there. Begin the process. Her exhibit design class is led by UW professor Wilson O'Donnell. Yeah. So it's really about uh, storyline, how that lays out within the space. Yeah. It's a difficult space. It's an intricate lesson in show and tell with Professor O'Donnell guiding the students to both show a key part of a community's history and then tell the story around it. We are about trying to have our students both assist in community uh, projects and help local organizations move forward, uh, as well as give them the opportunity to get uh, really important, direct, hands-on experiences uh, throughout the community. The telephone company. It was that hands-on experience that changed the course of Brianna's career. I never really wanted to go into exhibits, but this has given me at least a step into understanding how those come together and understanding how they work, and I can apply that to my future career. A career which she now hopes to launch at a community museum like this one. It's not about, hey look, I put up an exhibit. It's, it's about, hey look, Visitors are actually getting something out of this exhibit.